Hey guys, and welcome back to Symphony of the Night, where we last left off, we were about to use this lift and go to the deep dark below. And this place is cool. This reminds me of something uh, out of Hellraiser. And you'll see what I mean. In this giant container down below us contains, well, something somewhat unexpected. Alucard? That voice, Maria? I'm sorry, you were right. He has joined forces with the enemy. So it was a Belmont after all. But someone must be controlling him. Whatever we do, we can't harm Richter. But he must be stopped. I know. Well, here, take these with you. What are these? If you wear these, you can see beyond evil illusions. Thank you. Tis best then if you pray for the soul of your friend. Oh, I much soul praying will be required. So, I don't know how Maria got into that uh, awesome-looking Hellraiser box, but we're not gonna we're not gonna question it. We're just gonna accept it as law. Now, we can go and fight Erecta, but we've got to get to him first. But that's all fairly trivial. Now, we could kind of go back to the library, I guess. Because we've got a lot of gems and things to sell. Wouldn't be a terrible idea, I guess. All right, back to the library. In fact, we've got a library card. Yes. You know what? Let's use a library card, shall we? Now, I've never actually used one of these before. Um, I guess we can put the war karma back on. Just for shits and gigs. Now, crystal cloak. Yeah, apparently the crystal cloak is better. Puts our constitution way up. Sure, we'll do that. Now... Um, we'll have the Ankh of Life back. And... Oof. The Moonstone. Good. Now, library card. Let's have a little look at that, shall we? Somewhere, wherever that is. It's definitely not the greatest... Um... There we go. It's not the greatest inventory system, but <coughs> it is what it is. Oh, I also spent a considerable amount of time trying to... What weapon were we using? The gem sword. Get some more items out of this guy, but I just... Nothing was happening, and that's the holy sword. Not... Jewel sword. There we go. Excellent. Okay, let's go see the library guy. What can I do for you? Well, I'm you can buy my gems. You can buy all of my gems for a, a not insignificant Thank amount of money, apparently. Thank you. I would say we are actually fairly wealthy now. <laughs> Which is nice. Cool. Okay. Let's have a little look and see what he has. I suppose we could get some potions and things. We don't need hammers. Or magic. What's that? The whacker knife? Nah. Nah. We'll buy another one of those just to make sure that we have plenty. We've got the mace. Pretty sure. No, we do not have that. Okay, so what don't we have then? Zero of these. 
Uh, we'll buy one. It's only 400. Sure. We don't have a javelin either. We'll have one of those. Get a fire boomerang, I guess. We've got shurikens. We don't have a saber. Curious. We'll get one. We'll get the mace. And uh, the Damaka sword. Let's see. Fine sword. That actually does do a little bit more damage than the weapon that we have now. Let's get one of those. Sure. We apparently don't have a lever, an iron shield. That's curious. It's a little bit of money. We'll get that. And the velvet hat. The leather hat. Drop, these drop our initiation down. So I'm not 100% sure that they're worth it. Circlet. Again, they drop our initiative or whatever that is, I guess, down. That puts it up. But we already have Iron Caress. We don't have the Steel Caress. Let's see if there's something that's really good that we could have. Okay, so this Diamond Plate might be worth. Reverse Coat. Cloak. Elven Cloak. See, again, it doesn't... Ooh. Joseph's Cloak. Select color. System menu. Medal. That just buffs our abilities. Ring with holy powers. Gauntlets. Attack plus five. Which is probably quite nice. These are the scrolls. Don't really care about those. Um, you know, I guess we could buy that. Which will be most of our money. Apparently that's a good cloak, according to... Uh, some of the stuff I've read. Um, and I guess we'll get some potions. And to be fair, that's all you really need money for, as far as I'm aware. Anyway, so let's equip Joseph's cloak. Yeah, this puts like everything up a little bit. Now I know but apparently, yeah, cloak color. We can actually... Ah. Okay, that's pretty bloody cool. No, we're definitely going to have that red. And then we can change the color of the wing. Oh, the lining, I should say. You know what? I like that. That's badass. Cool. Happy with that. Right, well, I'm not 100% convinced that the shop is actually worth it, really, when you think about it. And excuse my sneezing fit. I believe I managed to mute the mic in time. Now, let's get out of here. I guess there's going to be a lot of books that we can destroy. We might be able to get some gems from said books. Come on. There we go. Nice. So the Zucrons aren't actually worth that much. They're only worth like 150 odd. Which is unfortunate. But you know, it is what it is. Money does seem to have very little um, use in this game. And Leo, please don't get in front of my uh, screen. Thank you. He loves to jump on my screen. Um, now. Definitely want to try and fill that bit in there if we can. Because remember, every square that we fill in makes our armor more powerful. Cool. Let's get out of here. As we know these things aren't actually worth fighting anymore. We need to start progressing towards our friend Richter. You're really standing on my Xbox, Leo. Really standing on my Xbox. Leo, come up. You are unreasonably annoying today. And that's saying something for a cat who spend most of their lives trying to be as annoying as possible. 
in their own little way. Come at me, fool. I will turn you into gems and collect uncurses. It's a shame that we can actually only sell uh, gems and things. You can't actually sell duplicate items you have because we actually have quite a few of those. Now, let us ascend. Take the express elevator all the way up to hell. Now, still need to keep going further up. Ugh. Oh, hello. Ah, yes. You used to be so terrifyingly powerful. No longer. Oof. Richter, I'm coming for your ass, boy. I suppose, actually, what we could have done is checked on our bird friends down below, but I didn't think about it. Wait a minute. I was going to say we've gone too far, but no, we haven't. We need to keep progressing this way. That's the machine. Medusa, I'll see you in hell. Which I'm guessing is where old Vladdy boy's going. Right, fresh uncharted territory here. Right, to the clock tower. Now, there are some goodies around, as far as I can remember. Two ways to enter. Ooh, Skull Lords. These things aren't quite as terrifying as they first seem. But the music here is freaking amazing. Come on, Terminator Skull. Get out of here. Really? You just drop a Zucron? All of that? Trying to intimidate me for a frickin' Zucron. I mean, that's just kind of depressing, actually. Sir, I say, sir. Enough of that. Now, can we? Yep. <laughs> yes. Oof. What about that? Now, the good news is we still have our holy water. There's a lot of items to find around here. Including... Ooh. Oof. No thanks, Flail Guard. The Phantom Skulls! Ooh. We certainly have the pentagram. Now, on this little pedestal trio, we have the Ice Mail, the Bwaka, and the Shaman Shield, eh? Let's have a little look at the Shaman Shield, shall we? Eh. Shaman Shield. Okay, so, yeah, apparently it is better. Maybe, ooh, it looks like a heavy piece of armor as well. Now, we go all the way up here. We can find a new power for our bat. I think it's the final power for the bat, actually. And I love the way you can see the uh, looming moon in the background peeking from behind the mountains. Now this allows us to do an attack with the bat. And the attack, although not crazy powerful, it's nice to be able to activate certain things whilst you're in bat form. You know, like these, for instance. Okay, so somewhere, you know, maybe it's a little bit better than I gave it credit for, actually. Although nothing's gonna be kicking an ass or two with our sword. Hello, Skull Lord. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Now, somewhere in this room, and I forget where, there is a magic missile as well. Sure, there is. Okay. It has been a little while since I've practiced this part of the game. There it is, magic missile. Oof, oof, gimme, gimme, gimme. 
I need those gems for things. Now, I can't remember, but um, obviously in the very short future, we're going to be going to the upside down castle or inverted castle. Now, if you use a library card, the library card will still take you back to the standard castle into the library, which is interesting. So it will always take you back to the shop because I'm not sure if there's a shop in the inverted castle. Because, Like I said, as of this point of recording, I haven't completed that part of the game. Okay, all right, let's fill in all this so our armor is as powerful as it can possibly be. There we go. We can cheat with the fast forward ability of the emulator. <laughs> there we go. Right. Now onwards and upwards. Yes, the clock tower with the stronger Medusa heads. Yeah, these guys will turn us into stone. The fairy's okay, but she's going to waste all of our hammers. But that's fine. I don't think we actually have many of them. In fact, we actually have an armor, I believe. That will stop us. Somewhere. Resist to stoning. Yeah, this is a little bit of a dip in our defensive abilities, but I think it's worth it. Okay. I mean, not that much of a dip, I guess. That's the other entrance in. Ooh. I think not. She bitch! Oof. Okay, that's fine. Whew. Harpies. Harpy still die with one hit. Happy with that. Whoa. Damn, Harpy. Have some flaming, watery death, at least. Not exactly flaming. Jesus. Right, let's just put the spike breaker on for a second. Just to break those spikes. Marvellous bit of kit, that. And then we can equip the mirrored armor again. There we go. Yeah, she's already used all of our hammers up, which ain't great. Now, we can actually do something with this water. I do vaguely remember being able to flood the place. We'll figure it out. We can hopefully not get destroyed by too many of these guys. That would be fantastic. Okay. We're not going that way. Not yet, at least. Come on, Harpy. Get out of here. Whoa. This place is dangerous, yo. Is that what we need to do? I mean, maybe? Or do we just have to destroy? Ah. Okay. Let's try and kill as many of these enemies as possible. Unfortunately, the Medusas are going to continuously bother us. There is something funny about this wall. Yep. Thanks, fairy. I got it. I got it. Ooh, flea armors. Just hoping not to have to see those guys again. No matter, Alucard. Ooh, 250 bucks. Don't mind that. Now, I believe up here. Mm, come on, you little shit. Up here is some um, health upgrades. And possibly. Ooh, Aquamarine, nice. Health and... Ooh. Cloaked Knight. Now that guy, I was going to say, isn't actually a boss. He's just a bit of a dick. But two swipes from our trusty gem sword is enough to dispatch the likes of him. That's it. His hearts as well. Excellent. 
Okay, back to these flea guys again. Are these guys even giving us XP? 684. Come on. 682, so not really would be the answer to that. 250 money. I mean, it's probably more efficient to just grind the same... God damn it, candles. You son of a bitch. It's probably more efficient to just great, uh, grind the same candles again. If you want money. Instead of uh, taking it the hard way. Um, right, we... Yeah, there is another way down here. And things are not going fantastic right now. Aha! Yeah, I'm sure we can do something more here. But I have just noticed... Oof. We are out of time. Yeah, I can't remember how to open that. Right, I'm going to do some exploring off camera, guys. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. And next time, progress, I swears.